Before dawn on December 15, 1890, the police burst into Sitting Bull's house, ordered him to his feet, and pushed him toward the door. Outside, Sitting Bull's followers began to gather, taunting the Lakota police, vowing to keep them from taking their leader. A Lakota policeman put a bullet through Sitting Bull's head.
in the My great-grandmother is Katie Warbonnet. She was a survivor of Wounded Knee. When the shooting broke out, she and her sister got kiksawi, ran down into the ravine and made it to some plum bushes. And she could hear the, the firing and the firing and the hollering and, and then finally it was quiet. More than 300 Lakota people lay dead. After remaining untouched in the ice and snow for three days, they were buried in a mass grave. The massacre would mark the brutal end of centuries of armed Indian resistance.
picked up some sage and I I went and washed myself and I prayed to those ancestors that were there in that gully. And I said, we're, we're back. We'll return my relations. We belong. 